I'm speaking with Peter Cavanaugh. Peter is the president of Baseball Ireland. Baseball Ireland is the governing body of baseball in Ireland. It uh, is responsible for Little League and youth and amateur baseball and Ireland's national baseball team. And uh, Peter, let's start by uh, just going over how popular baseball is in Ireland right now. Thanks a million, John. Baseball is getting bigger and bigger in Ireland because of our exposure to North American sports growing. Um, we got to thank the internet for that. Uh, 20 years ago, you might have seen a little bit of baseball on British television, which we pick up here in Ireland. Uh, so maybe once a week you might have seen highlights of a couple of games, but it was very, very early in the morning, uh, our time. I think that the highlights package was like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. on a British TV channel. So it really was a niche sport. So it was played largely by expats uh, who'd come over to live here. Um, it's it's definitely growing because we were more exposed to sports of all kinds. And when you look at the growth of American football here in Ireland, or football, as I suppose you'd call it, uh, that's been absolutely huge. And they have about a, a 10 year head start on us as an association. So while while the game is growing, interest in the sport at the major league level is growing. We're seeing an awful lot of interest from people who want to try it for the first time. So it's 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 brilliant to see to see that, and we get to um, answer all those increased emails and Facebook requests. Like, oh, I really I really like the look of baseball. I think I might be good at it. So tell me about the guys that are coming out and playing baseball for the first time, whether they're adults or kids. Um, what is their athletic background? Uh, I imagine in most cases they don't have any experience playing baseball, but um, are they athletes um, or are they you know, just trying sports for the first time? We've got a very strong history of bat and ball sports. One of our national games here is hurling which requires the same level of hand-eye coordination as baseball. It's You're striking a ball with a wooden implement. Uh, it's, it's something that we've been playing in Ireland for thousands of years. So a lot of hurlers, they, they find themselves, that they're, they're naturally suited to certain elements of the game of baseball. Um, you know, uh, the, for example, in hurling, fielding is one of the, the more fundamental skills. So uh, while it can be quite difficult to teach somebody who's never even seen or heard of the sport before how to track a fly ball, Hurlers are quite good at that, getting themselves under it and making catches. Uh, as well as that, they're pretty good at swinging a bat. So we just have to uh, work on their stance and their grip and basic fundamentals. But they've got a little bit of a head start. And uh, some of them have become quite decent baseball players over the last couple of years. Now, I'm sure anyone who is hearing about baseball in Ireland for the first time would you know, be surprised to find out that uh, baseball is, in fact, played in Ireland. Uh, take us back... Uh, to the uh, early 1990s and, and explain how Irish baseball came to be. Well, uh, the the Irish uh, Baseball and Softball Federation, as it was known at the time, was founded in 1989. Uh, and it was the first official um, coming together of all the players of baseball and softball. Both sports had been played on a pickup basis for a few years beforehand, but this was the first uh, formal association. Uh, so it was a body that could... Uh, take on the responsibility of furthering the growth and development, promoting both sports um, and developing uh, umpiring uh, and uh, training and coaching. Um, it developed from there. The two sports split from each other and uh, adult level baseball really began to formally take shape in, in 1995 when we had visiting coaches from MLB International. Uh, they came over, provided much needed instruction to uh, uh, adult players, a lot of whom who would only have played recreational softball but wanted a greater challenge, uh, a more athletic experience and, and, and greater competition. So um, at that stage, we, we began to take, uh, take the shape we currently are in. and We put together our national team. And the following year, 1996, we played our first ever international competition. Um, it generated some, some great ex interest in, in baseball. And, uh, and that's when we, we had our first domestic adult league, uh, 1996. So um, back then we had... Uh, seven teams in the Dublin area, uh, two up in Belfast and one in Greystones County Wicklow. Okay. So you mentioned the adult league. Um, so tell me who's playing baseball in the Irish, uh, adult league. Well, it, it used to be a lot higher, but one of the things we're seeing recently is a lot of that, uh, first crop of youth baseball guys who are playing youth baseball, um, 15 years ago, even as recently as 10 years ago, they're now the stalwarts of, uh, the Irish league. So the guys like our, uh, 
up until recently he was the captain of our national team, Darren O'Connor. Uh, he would have started off as a, as a youth baseball player learning from American expats when they would have made up 90% of the league, even 90% of the national team. Uh, but now we're looking at a national team that's built around a core of Irish-born players. The league, every team has got a core of Irish-born players. We're still a minority in the sport because it's... Uh, it's a sport that's taken to more easily by by expats, but not just American expats anymore. The uh, uh, influx of other baseball playing cultures into Ireland has been huge. And what, for example, the Venezuelans and the Mexicans, the Canadians, the Koreans and the Japanese have given our game has been fantastic. And, and they've sent over some great players over here. Uh, being an amateur league, it all depends on whether or not you find yourself in Ireland studying or working, as opposed to something like the Czech League or the Dutch League or the German League, where they're pro or semi-pro, where they would have players coming over on contracts. Uh, we've got guys coming over to work in banks or to study English in our uh, in our college system, uh, and they end up finding themselves playing amateur baseball and adding to the league. and And it's really it's become a great melting pot of cultures, much like Major League Baseball has. We still owe an awful lot to the American expats who set it up, but they find themselves dwindling in number. John, they're still they're still a very very hefty presence, but uh, they're they're slowly getting outnumbered by all the other baseball playing nations of the world. Let's talk about the Irish national baseball team. Um, I know Ireland does play internationally. Uh, they play other teams in Europe in uh, the European Championships. And uh, the team is a mix of um, Irish-born and uh, Irish-American players who hold dual citizenship uh, and also uh, Canadian dual citizens as well. Uh, so explain who the Irish national team uh, plays against and who is on the team. Well, the Irish national team uh, competes at the European sea level, so in the sea pool championships. Up until um, 2013, we were at the B level, but uh, we had a, a rough outing in, uh, in a tournament in, uh, in Vienna, Austria in uh, 2013 and were relegated to the sea level. Now, we finished fourth in the sea pool championships last year, which was a very strong showing. We unfortunately had a couple of injuries to our frontline pitchers, so we couldn't get through the semi final and ended up uh, finishing fourth in that tournament. Uh, that had some very strong teams like Slovenia and Israel. Uh, and to compare, the Israeli team was made up entirely of players living and playing ball in the, in the US, a lot of them semi pro, and some of them minor league players. Uh, compared to what we have, we've got a, a core of, as I said, Irish-born players, guys like uh, Jack Farrell and Leo Farrell who play for the uh, the Greystones Mariners. And, uh, you know, uh, our coaching system, it's all domestic-based. Uh, we used to have a lot of imported players coming and playing, uh, but now it's, it's all firmly based around players within the Irish League with a handful of players uh, coming from uh, US and Canadian college leagues or amateur hardball leagues. So we've got the Irish national baseball team. We've got the uh, adult amateur league. Uh, what about kids? Where are the, uh, I guess, little leagues or, or youth baseball programs in Ireland? And what do kids in Ireland think of baseball? Is it a popular sport? Uh, is it something that they, they enjoy playing? Um, and, and how are you working to uh, expand uh, the presence of youth baseball in Ireland? Well, youth baseball is uh, its not as strong as adult baseball, we have to admit. It's something that we've been working on over the last 20 years. Um, but unfortunately, one of the bigger problems we've faced is that an entire generation of coaches have uh, uh, retired from coaching because their kids would have grown up and gone on to play uh, adult-level baseball. So uh, replacing those is, is is pretty tough. So we've got a uh, there are five ball clubs playing uh, youth league baseball, and that's everything up from t-ball through coach pitch to little league and uh, what we call the cadets, which would be teenage level baseball, and they're based uh, in North Dublin. Um, Galway, Ashburn in County Meath and um, there's a, a team in, in West County Clare as well, the West Clare Dolphins. So it really, it's a huge geographical spread. Um, unfortunately, we'd love to see more teams uh, playing baseball, but uh, getting things up and running for a brand new club, it's it's very, very difficult considering how little the sport is played over here. Uh, getting equipment, getting the kind of um, the kind of supports we need to put in place, a new youth team, as well as getting the coaching and, and the interest in the kids, it, it can be quite challenging. But, it, you know, the, those that are playing... Um, youth baseball i mean you've got 
age groups running from four or five years old right the way up to 16, 17 uh, at all of those clubs. So it really, it, it, it's providing a great stream of players to the adult league, but we'd love to see some more of it in, in areas that we don't have a presence at the moment. And what kind of outreach do you do uh, to to bring more kids in? I mean, obviously, baseball is a growing sport, but it's a new sport, and most kids don't really know much about it in Ireland. Um, so, how do you how do you bring them in? How do you get them involved? How do you teach them about the game? Uh, one of the key things we've uh, done in the last year, and it's our current youth coordinator, uh, Mark Mandarano, who's who started it, is uh, interventions into uh, uh, primary schools, the equivalent of uh, elementary school in the states. Uh, but going into the primary education system and showcasing baseball as a sport for the kids to try. Baseball has got the same appeal over here as, as rugby does, in that you don't need to be a certain physique or a certain shape or a certain level of athleticism to play it. There's a spot on the team for everybody. If you're the if you're the small, skinny, wiry kid who can run really fast, they're going to stick you in the outfield, you're going to steal bases. If you're the big, blocky kid with a lot of strength, you can play catcher or you can play corner infield. So it's got an appeal that, that really lends itself to uh, being an attractive sport for, for Irish kids. Um, our biggest issue in trying to get it out there is that we've got one guy coordinating all of the youth league baseball and we've got a lot of coaches who are really really dedicated but because everybody's doing it on an amateur basis it's very very difficult to uh, to give them the, uh, the the support they need and what about you peter how did you get involved in baseball well uh, i i came to the game quite late uh, compared to most of most of the people who who play even in ireland i started playing it at 27 I previously had played uh, rugby in college, uh, and when I had a, a string of serious injuries that forced me to give up rugby, I played a bit of cricket, which is a sport that has a long tradition here in Ireland as well. Uh, another bat and ball sport and something that, that lends us to, to, to baseball easily. Um, but I'd always had an interest in baseball. I'd always watched it. I was one of those people who stayed up until early in the morning to watch the baseball highlights. And uh, I'd been to uh, been to Boston. I became a Red Sox fan. When the internet became, uh, you know, something that everybody could access, it was great for all us baseball fans. We were able to finally see our team every day. Uh, and then I just took a punt. I said, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this out, and I'm gonna email one of the teams that plays in Dublin. I said, Listen, do you have a spot for a complete and total newbie? And uh, I very quickly realized that uh, while my strength may not be for hitting home runs, there are parts of the game I'm pretty good at, and one of them was administration. So I uh, took over as a I took over as manager of uh, my my uh, my ball club's B League team. Uh, I joined the National Executive Committee of Baseball Ireland as uh, as the public relations officer, looking after their media, their social media, their press uh, relations. And uh, then the opportunity came up. Somebody nominated me for president, and I was I was honoured to be nominated, and I was elected to the post. So uh, my role is just to uh, to provide some sort of strategic direction for the the national association. I mean, nobody can do anything on their own. So the national executive committee, a bunch of volunteers who work incredibly hard at trying to promote and grow the game in Ireland and promote baseball Ireland abroad. Well, it's certainly not easy. And uh, Peter, I applaud you for your efforts and, and uh, I applaud everyone at Baseball Ireland and, and everyone all over the world that's uh, doing their part to uh, help share the game of baseball by bringing the game to places where it's not traditionally played. Uh, Peter, I want to thank you uh, again for speaking with me. And uh, if anyone wants to learn more about Irish baseball uh, or if they would like to, uh, to donate or to help support the cause, uh, they should visit uh, BaseballIreland.com or supportirishbaseball.org. Thanks for listening.